fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Deluxe Class Autobot DevCon from the Transformers Legacy Evolution line from Hasbro. Now this is a G1 character that I think was only ever in one episode. I don't remember exactly what episode it is. I kind of want to say The Gambler, but I could be wrong. But I know they kind of like, I think Blaster and maybe Cosmos go to space and run into this guy and he's like an Autobot bounty hunter. I think Astro trains in the episode. Not 100% sure what's going on, but it's interesting that they're doing this character because honestly I forgot he existed. But now here we go, we have him in Transformers Legacy Evolution. We have some uh, artwork of his alt mode here. Now I, in the episode I don't believe he ever transformed, so I guess they just had to guess at what his alt mode would be. So here we go. We have some nice artwork of the robot mode over here on this side. And then over here we have that kind of standard uh, Legacy Evolution mural that we always have. Nothing going on on the bottom. Have the QR code for the uh, tech specs there on the top. And then over here on the back we have some product shots of the robot mode and vehicle mode. And then the Evo Fusion gimmick is, I guess, attaching his thrusters to his weapon. And then attaching them to his forearm. So there we go. Uh... Yeah. In any case, we're going to go ahead, get this guy out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here is DevCon out of the packaging, and he looks pretty good, I have to say. He definitely resembles his appearance in that one episode that he was in. Uh, I feel like the head sculpt is pretty good. Not too much going on. Kind of a basic head sculpt, but I think they nailed it. Really nice Autobot symbol here painted on the chest. Have a little bit of silver here as well. A little bit of silver and red here in the abdomen. The head is on kind of a ball joint, but it doesn't really do much front to back. It mostly just spins side to side. You have uh, some nice molding here, a little bit of silver paint for the bicep. You have a swivel front to back, and of course you have the hinge out to the side. There is a bicep swivel right above the elbow, and then about 90 degrees there in the elbow. Now he does have these little fin pieces painted red that are, are hard molded in. Unfortunately, you can't move them. I kind of wish you could rotate them maybe to be kind of on the bottom of the forearm instead of the side. Not a big deal, but just, I don't know, I feel a little out of place there. Nothing in the wrist because of the way that transforms, which we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, you have a waist swivel here. You can kick pretty far forward, kick decently back, and then if we move the arm out of the way, you can kick pretty far out to the side. You do have a thigh swivel right here. You have 90 degrees here at the knee. And then you do have some ankle tilt down here. Now, if you're looking at these legs, they may look familiar. The legs are definitely uh, reuse from the blur mold back in Titan's Return. That's still kind of kicking around at this point. But he is mostly new. Uh, he kind of transforms similarly to blur. You have this backpack here that's going to come up and over the head, which is kind of the same. But this has obviously all been remolded. Uh, I believe the arms are different. They have been, uh, they are new. I think it's really just maybe from like... It might even be the different molding here on the shins, I believe, but just the way it transforms is the same kind of engineering. So, And you can almost see here how there's kind of like room for a pin, because this was back on Blur. This piece flipped up as the seat, but they've obviously, you know, done their own thing with it. But the kind of the pinhole is still there from where that hinge had to be, but they have taken that out. But yeah, for the most part, I think he looks pretty good. I do like the design, and it's fun to get this character that we, I don't think we've ever gotten a figure of before, unless there was like some kind of Botcon bot set that I'm not familiar with. He does come with a few accessories. We have this uh, gun here done in the same color blue, but then painted silver. We can go ahead and pop this into his hand. Very nice. And then he's got these two thruster pieces, which are also done in the blue and then painted red. Now you can do a couple of things with these if you want to use the Evo Fusion gimmick. You can peg these onto the side. Well, I guess I would do it like this. However you want to peg them in, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you could do it like this. Or if you wanted, you could have these face forward. Whatever you would like to do. I think it looks kind of dumb. I like just having the gun on its own. So what you can also do with these, you can just store them here on the back of the legs. So you can just peg these in. And then it's kind of like he's got rocket boosters on his feet. So he can fly around. 
But yeah, I just like to store them back there. I just like the normal gun. I mean, the Evo Fusion gimmick doesn't work for everyone. I understand why they're still trying it. Um... But yeah, I don't need it. I think the gun on its own <laughs> looks perfectly good. But yeah, he's cool. He's very kind of basic. But he's pretty clean. He doesn't have a ton of kibble. He just kind of has this little bit of a backpack here. I kind of wish this pegged in some way. Maybe just like a tiny little tab here and a tiny little tab slot. Just to kind of lock that in place. Because when you're moving him around, this moves around a lot. This piece here pegs into the back very nice and securely. But this piece is a little... I mean, it's not a huge problem, but... I just wish that was a little bit more secure. But yeah, for the most part, I think the robot mode looks pretty good. Definitely looks like the character from the show. And like I said, I don't believe he had an alt mode in that episode. I believe he was just running around as an Autobot, and he had a spaceship that he would fly around to hunt his bounties. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's transform him. All right, so I've gone ahead and removed the gun and then the two thrusters from the back because they'll end up in different places once we're done. Uh, we're going to start here by coming to the hands, and these are going to pop open and kind of swivel around, and then you're going to rotate the fist in to reveal these thrusters, and then close this up. And honestly, if you want, you can kind of pretend that he's got like a Mega Man arm. That really, to me, looks exactly like Mega Man's Mega Buster. I think that's really fun. Anyway, we're going to do that again over here, so just rotate this around. And close it back up. And then you're just going to kind of put these off to the side. That's pretty much as much transforming as they do. Uh, you're going to come around to the back. And you need to unpeg the backpack here. And then this is going to kind of accordion out. So you have to kind of grab a hold. And you can see there's a pin here and a pin here. So that kind of went in and accordioned in like that. So you need to bring that around. And then just kind of let that hang out for a moment. You're going to come down to the legs. Straighten out the feet if you have the ankle tilt engaged. Then you're going to open these up like so and then peg these together. And then you're going to just flip this around like so. Come around to the back, lift this out of the way, flip the feet. Sorry, I'm bending them the wrong way. They go up like this. And again, just make sure the arms are out of the way. And then these are going to come around. And so this is going to peg in here. And this tab is going to peg in here. So bring this in. Click that in there. And then click the foot up there. Repeat the process. So that part is like exactly how Blur used to transform. So that part should be very familiar. Then you have this. You're going to see that there's a large tab right here on the side. And that is going to tab in right here. So kind of bring this in. And then use that bicep swivel to kind of rotate it into place so that you can go ahead and tab that in. Do the same over here. Tab that in. At this point, you're pretty much done. You're going to come around to this. This is going to lift over the head. And these two tabs here are going to tab into these two spots on the sides of the head. So go ahead and do that. And then this is going to flip down. You can see two tabs here, which are going to tab in there and there. So that just pegs down there and that is it you are done the last little thing is to add these thrusters back in for a finishing touch and there is his alt mode so it's fine i mean i don't know what this is supposed to be obviously just some kind of futuristic spaceship you know alien cybertronian spaceship thing you know it's fine i mean it makes sense for, you know, Transformers that never came to Earth. Of course, they're not going to have Earth alt modes. And when you're kind of just, you know, in space doing your thing, you just need something to get you from point A to point B. It doesn't really matter about style points. You just need something to get you where you're going quickly, which is why he's got these big thrusters here on the back. Now, as far as the gun goes, if you want, you could peg it here on what were the forearm pieces. Or, of course, you can come around to the bottom and peg it in down here and give them kind of a double gun thing on the front. I feel like that kind of takes away from the front blaster, though. I'm not going to not gonna lie. You could also do either one of these on the side here. So whatever you like. I know it's not symmetrical, but I kind of like to just put it here. Something like that. But there you go. There is your Cybertronian transport spaceship thing but it looks good i mean it's a weird looking alt mode but i kind of like it 
So that's going to do it for DevCon. I think he's a pretty simple transformer, but he looks good. I really like the robot mode. I think they definitely nailed his design from that episode. And since he didn't have an alt mode in that episode, you know, they kind of came up with something the best they could. And I think it's perfectly fine. It's not the best alt mode ever, but it's fine. It's definitely very kind of outer spacey Cybertronian, so I'm happy with that. And it's a very fun, quick, easy transformation, and I think it looks good enough. Uh, the Evo Fusion gimmick, you know, not really anything that exciting, but I like the accessories that he comes with. I think the thrusters look good on the back of the leg as well as in the vehicle mode, and I like just kind of the simple silver blaster here. I think they did a pretty good job with that. So, yeah, overall, is this guy a must-have? It's going to be up to you. I mean, he's a very, very obscure character, so it might be something you don't really care about. But it's a fun figure, and it's neat to get a figure of him finally because you know, the first one in 40 years. So it's kind of a neat accomplishment here. So yeah, like I said, do you need him? That's going to be up to you. He's definitely not one of the core characters or anything like that. But if you enjoy having kind of obscure characters in your collection, I think they did a pretty good job with this one. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.